Raquel has now decided to open a third manufacturing line of light combat aircraft, LCA, Tejas at its Nashek facility, which so far has only made the Su-30 MKI planes. The last Su-30 will be delivered by March 2020. Hawk and Jaguar projects already completed and just 23 of the Su-30s pending delivery, thousands of HAL workers will have little or no work until new orders come. HAL CMD Madaman, on Friday said, while the repair and overhauling work at Nashek will still be there, it is true that a section of those workers will have no work. So we've decided to start a third LCA line at Nashek. The operation of the third line, however, depends on how getting the orders for 83 Tejas cleared by the Defense Acquisition Committee, DAC, which is currently stuck with the cost committee set up by the center, which feels that the cost quoted by HAL is too high. We've submitted all clarifications to the committee. You cannot compare the cost of the IOC, initial operational clearance, configuration, which had nothing to the FOC, final operational clearance configuration which has a lot of new equipment added. The cost has gone up because of that. Now, if you want the moon, you will have to pay for it, Madhavan said. He did not, however, give out details of what Hal had quoted for each Tejas. Hal is already spending Rs 1,300 crore to augment LCA production and make 16 aircraft annually, and the third line will be part of this. With that we hope to achieve an annual production rate of 20 planes a year, he said. At present HAL has orders for 40 Tejas, 16 in IOC configuration and the remaining in FOC configuration, and orders for the 83 is important for the PSU to keep its production going. We are also hopeful of bagging order for the Light Combat Helicopter, LCH, and the Light Utility Helicopter, LUH in the future besides the Kamov helicopters which will be a joint venture with Russia, he said.